Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, always you doing the Sharperi. In this video, I'm going to see how we can try collecting flows with some operators. Let's get started. So here I have just a blank project. We are going to see two main methods in order to do the retry of the collecting part of the Kotlin flows. So we do have something called retry and we have something called retry when. We will see this too, but first we need some flow to work on. So basically I will just use flow on or flow off. Let's have, for example, 10 or 13, then we will have 15. And usually you can do collect, of course, you can do map, apply. And it is the thing you are interested in. You can retry things. Basically when you do the retry, you have two main things. Here we do have the cause and the attempt. Okay, you will see them in Lambda. Well, we have to return something, but this is the predicate we will see it in a minute. I will just put true here. But first, let's try to understand this. This is the cause. This is throwable. So what you can do with the cause, since it is throwable, you can check whether it is a particular format of exception throwable, of course. Based on that, you can maybe retry or not. So basically, you can do if cause is, for example, IO exception or let's say any other form of exceptions. Basically here, for this case, you can retry. You can return what's only here, you can return true, for example. You can do the return of when. You can do that, like this is the this is the basics of this cause thing, right? It is throwable, so you can check it in order to retry. And here, like, you should return a predicate. If you see here in the retry when, I don't know if you can see, I don't have the compiled class. So basically you have a predicate. It is suspend function, okay? So you know that. And it takes two things. It takes throwable and it takes a long and it returns a boolean. So we must return a boolean here and we are having two things. And this is the predicate, okay? This is the long. The attempt here is the number of attempts you are in. Let's say, for example, you try the first time and it didn't work. The second time when this will reach here, you will have the, this number as two. It's number two. So basically, if it is IO exception, and for example, you can join and attempt is more than three times, more like we will really try the three times actually. If it is smaller than three, sorry. If it is less than three, you can retry. Otherwise, don't retry. So the final decision is taken with this two boot. This is the form of a rule. We'll try to do something here. Well, I don't know how to generate exceptions. Well, let's just, yeah, we can do the following. Maybe we can create a function called do something, for example. And this will return flow. Let's directly return flow. Yeah, it will be flow of int, for example. And from time to time, well, we will be using this one, do something. And basically we have to collect the course. And here we have to do the global. Let's just work with the global. So it's just a simple thing. Okay. But before you collect, you can retry. Something like that. So here I'm going to propose just, I don't know, I will see how, what exception I'm going to throw. So for example, what we can do is for loop. You can do for loop i in, let's say, from 0 to 10. And if the number is odd, can do the number of odd if i, for example, or if i is 5, for example, let's do that. Here, we will throw an exception. Here, let's say we go throw i exception. I don't know if we can throw it. Yeah, look, this is just an example for purpose of demonstration. And otherwise, yeah, I will just emit the number else. I will emit the i. Okay, so this, we can remove that. So here, we will receive numbers. So basically, we can do yes out here and just print the number. But first here, I'm just going to use this false. So here I just replaced the global scope with the, this spend function and let's run it. As I said, we are not trying anything. So let's run it here. You will see that we have problem here, of course. We have, so we have zero, one, two, three, four, and then it will stop. So the error is this one, IO exception. Like we didn't add any message here. All right, so you will see it as IO exception. Now, let's do the retry block. For example, let's make it just true and run it. You see the following. So it will keep always running, running until we don't have anything. Okay, so that's maybe a problem. You shouldn't do that. So we'll try to do our condition to see if it is working. 
run it one more time. I'm sorry. He should make false. Run it. So we must see it at least three times and then it will stop. So zero, one, two, three, four, and then we have problem. We do have this IO exception. So the, in the first attempt, it will be IO exception and the attempt is zero. So zero is less than three. We'll go one more time. Here's the other one. Here is the other one. I think it is four time. Yeah, exactly. So it is three plus the first time. So we always have this thing. So bear in mind that when we do the retry, we will start over, right? We are not continuing from the last time. So we will start over and that's why we have the zero, one, two, three, four. It doesn't continue from the, that. Part. So just bear in mind that. We do have another variation of the retry when, which is just retry here. You will see the following. First here, it doesn't give two things. It gives only one thing, which is the cops. And here you have the attempt passed here. Let me just import it. So here you can give the attempt as five. You want it to retry five times and you have the cause here. So basically you don't have to work with the attempts anymore and just, well, here retry. So basically it's the same thing. Even if in the decompiled code, the retry uses, I don't know why I have this problem here. It's not showing me the code. But in the decompiled code, I think it is using the retry when internally. Like, I'm not sure I saw that in the documentation. Like, yeah, so basically this is it. And by default, if you don't give it anything here, guess what? It will repeat indefinitely. So if we run this, you will see it will keep running every time. Okay, it will run every time. Well, it's not run every time. It run until the maximum value of log, I think. Yeah, but if you give it, three times, it will run for three times. Run it again, it will run for three times. So bear in mind that the first attempt is not counted. And then we have three times, one, two, and three. So this is basically how you work with retry and retry when. So the main important thing here is to decide whether you should retry or not based on your values here. And I don't know, it doesn't matter what the code here, what matters is this logic. So you make sure you craft this logic correctly. So under some circumstances, let's say network issue, database issues, you have some flexibility in order to rerun your flow in order to get some result. Otherwise, if three attempts doesn't work well, it won't never work. Yeah, so this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. I hope this video was beneficial to you. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.